okay? Are you guys good to go? Uh, Wait, I'm switching I'm off the mic. I'm, so I'm going to move over to the streaming practice. channel when I when we start. So, are you guys ready? Yeah. Mic. Yeah, I'm yeah. ready. Okay. I'm going to switch over to streaming and start the match. Okay. Good luck. So hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the final match of the group stages here at the Rusty Jugglers Tournament in Taborga 2020. I'm Paris Lothar and I'll be bringing you footage of the catch contested between Blonde, uh, sorry, uh, Cora and Gun Quick. Fight. Now this is a absolutely Eliminate crucial match. I mentioned it was the last match of the playoffs, uh, sorry, the last match of the group stages. This match determines who goes through to the playoffs. At the moment, all three players in this group could miss out it really depends if Cora loses go. to quick here that's certainly going to be the case wait why am I playing oh no I don't know I fucked this up stand down it's a deadlock yep I fucked that up <laughs> I'm an idiot <laughs> okay I need to put myself as Codcaster. that did seem a bit weird Okay, so slightly delay there, but basically, yes. Um, and there we go. All right, now let's go. All right, so yes, um, here's the scenarios. If Cora wins here against Quick, then me and Cora will go through as the top seeds in this group. Uh, Cora will face off against Law in the playoffs, and I will face off against Jack. Should Quick win, every single player in the group will have one win each which means we will go down to KD ratio in these group stages to determine who will go through. So all players will have the same wins, but it will go down to who has the most amount of kills compared to deaths. Quick has to win for that to happen, though. So he is in an absolutely crucial position. Quick is fighting for his life here. Cora still has a chance if he loses. Depends on how he loses. But for Quick, he has to win here. There is absolutely no other option. And for me as well, I need Cora to win, really, to... Well, I don't need him to win, but it will certainly help. So we're going to start things off here following quick. We've got a Dragonov and an X-16 Sniper, a Gas Grenade, I believe, and some Molotovs. So quick, coming down underneath the uh, the oil rig. Cora's uh, playing towards the outer edges of the map. Quick playing quite defensively here. We might be heading towards a flag cap even in these early stages. Quick might be revealing his position there with that laser sight, though. Maybe not the smartest choice on his part. I can tell you one thing, Quick is going to be going for, the, uh, sorry, Cora will be going for the Sniper play. Almost certainly. Quick seems to be banking more on the Sniper. Let's go and switch to Cora's perspective and see what he's doing. Yep, he's got the Sniper out. Both players nowhere near each other. We're heading towards the 10 second mark, however. Quick is closer to the point, but Cora has got a very good way of scoping him out when he does go there. So Quick now edging towards the points. He's on the point, Cora. Has got the drop on him. He misses the shot though. And oh, he manages to pull it off. He gets the kill. Cora will take the first round here in this match. Just about got him in the waist. He missed the first shot. That was crucial. Quick had an opportunity to get away. Wasn't able to get away from the follow-up shot, however. So here we go. Quick now running towards sorry. Uh, quick now running towards the top part of the map on the oil rig. Cora going down below. Both players might give themselves away by footsteps, especially Quick. Those footsteps below are very loud. Cora's right below him. I think Cora may have sussed him out. Nope, he didn't. Quick is dashing back towards the edge of the map, swapping out with the revolver. As you can see on the minimap, both players looking for each other, but on opposite sides of the map, playing very carefully. These two, so far in this match, playing extremely carefully. Quick is going to switch over to the LMG. The low ADS time might not work. This is actually the first game we've played so far where both players are controller players. Uh, so there's no mouse and keyboard advantage. Oh, quick saw. He completely missed, however. But he does have advantage in terms of positioning. He's very close to the flag. And he does get the kill on Cora. It is down to 1-1 one, one each. And it feels like we've been playing far longer than two rounds. OK, 
here. Here we go. We're going to head on to round three here. Both players at level piggings. Ram 27, X16, stims and frags. I wonder if anyone will make good use of the stims. Cora does have the drop, but he is killed by Quick there. Sloppy work there, but I can't hold that too much against him. Quick was ready for him. He knew Cora was going up to the second floor. He was ready for that attack. Now, Quick takes advantage. 2-1. Okay, we have an X-16 and the new shotgun I don't know the name of. Gas grenades, I believe, or snapshot, or decoy, and Semtex, which is a really powerful thrown weapon. Quick, going in with a pistol. He's heading towards Cora, but doesn't know it yet. Cora's slowly heading away, holding that corner. Quick was heading in the right direction, but he doesn't seem to be aware. All it would take is a stupid bit of positioning from either player now to expose themselves. Both players staying quite far away from each other, though, with, um, not even knowing it. Cor oh, this could be dangerous. Cora could be exposing himself here, but he doesn't. Both players still far away. We've got 20 seconds remaining. Both players playing extremely defensive, learning from the mistakes they made in that first round, even though Cora won. Quick especially lost uh, against me because he was playing far too aggressively. My one bit of advice was play more defensively. Oh, both players are so close to each other and they just don't even know. They've got a shotgun secondary. I think Cora has it equipped. Quick does not, however. Quick is going to pop. Oh, he's going to get himself killed. Don't move any further, Quick. Don't move any further. No! <laughs> oh, Quick. He was standing right in front of him and he didn't even know. Cora ties things up. 2-2. Two, two. I don't know if Quick even knew he had a shotgun there. Seems to be favoring the pistol. Okay, so UMP45 and the striker shotgun available for both players. As well as smoke grenade and C4. Both players. Uh, once again, quick going around the edge of the map. Cora sticking to the middle. Trying to pick him off with the striker. Oh, sorry, with the UMP, which I think is called the striker in this game. Ooh, what was that explosion? I think quick. Oh, the players are very close to each other. They don't know. Oh, he's about to appear. Oh, that was so close. That was so close to revealing each other to themselves. They are so close and they don't even realize it. Who's going to get the drop on the other first? 20 seconds remaining. They're going to have to come out of position first. Quick is about to expose himself. Quick is about to expose. Oh, no. Quick gets the kill. Oh, Cora. Oh, that could have gone either way. But Quick does take the kill. And we are now up. 3-2 in favor of Quick. This match is taking a very long time. Both players playing extremely defensively here in this final group stage match. Quick especially knows that everything is on the line. Both players can see each other. What's happening, Quick? Completely. Okay. Cora is doing well here. Quick is only on two health. He can't afford to get hit again. He's so exposed. He does get the hit on Quick. But, sorry, on Cora, but it doesn't matter. We are back to level peggings once more. 3-3. Three to three. Quick exposed himself far too much there. He would have been much better off running and hiding and going for a different approach. Trying to catch Cora in the back. Engaging full on was not a smart idea. So we go back to the Dragonovs and the X-16s. Uh, decoy grenade possibly. And oh, immediately both players know where each other are. Cora has the drop on Quick. Quick is going to hide behind that little canister at the back. He's taking the high ground actually. That's a smart move. Oh, Quick. Oh, Quick. How did he lose that? He had the drop on Cora. And I think for the first time, Cora takes advantage here in... Oh, no, no, sorry for the first time. He takes advantage here in this match and goes 4-3 ahead. This is a very close, very tight, very tense match. Okay, so Quick is going to head straight for the high ground with the LMG, Magnum, Smoke Grenade, and Frag Grenade. I'm going to switch over perspective for to Cora for a bit. Actually, have they... No, I think it's switching automatically for us, isn't it? Cora... Sitting over in the far side, Quick holding it. Oh, they have no idea how close they are to seeing each other. I think Quick knows where Cora is, however. I think he knows. He's waiting. He's got the kill. That was patient work. Beautifully executed. Cora made the mistake of exposing himself. Quick knew where he was. Killed him off. This is insanely close. Both players at four kills apiece. Three kills away from taking the first round. Okay. Ram 27. X16, both players so close. Oh, and it's so good there from Cora. Quick did not stand a chance. Cora saw where he was. Quick didn't even get to raise his gun before being killed off. And here we go on two round something or other. Uh, 10, round 10. 
Cora is two off winning. Quick, going in with the pistol. Might forget that he has a shotgun. Oh, this is close. Both players very close to each other. Going with the pistol, not the play here. Absolutely not the play here. I think Cora is, but Cora's behind him. Quick knows where he is. What is he doing? Use the shotgun, Quick. No! You absolute fool. If he had the shotgun, he would have got him there. Cora now on round point to take this first round and take control of this match. And we'll go through if he succeeds to get this and the next match to go through to the playoffs to face against Law in the semi-finals. Oh, 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 that was dangerous, but Cora does get the kill and he takes the first round, 7-4. A closely contested match, but Quick lost his call there. Oh, that was very close, but Quick started becoming a bit too aggressive, making some poor mistakes, and Cora was able to take advantage. We're going quick to choose the next map before we head on to round two. I'm guessing he's going to go speed. Yep, there it is. So, quick now fighting for his life in this tournament. If he keeps playing like he did before, though, I reckon he could do this. I reckon he can do this if he just plays carefully like he did initially. He just started playing a bit too... I don't even want to say aggressive, but he was playing less conservative than he already had been which was definitely working against his favor and uh, he paid for it with three quick losses in a row he was keeping so tight with Cora there for those first eight rounds four four doing a great job just waiting for quick to ready up he hasn't confirmed that he is ready yet oh he's changing operator interesting Okay, they're ready, and we, here we go. What could potentially be Quick's last round in this tournament, and could potentially see us move into the playoffs. Here we go. Speedball, the great equalizer. Cora versus Quick. If Cora wins this, he goes through to the playoffs as top seed to face against Law in the semi-finals. If Quick wins, we are going through to a round three tiebreaker, one of which we've only seen so far in the first match of the tournament, contested between me and Cora. Be really nice to see another. I'm sure Cora would like to close it out here and now. We count down, and we are going to be starting off with LMGs. LMGs, Magnums, Smoke Grenades, and Frag Grenades to take... It, oh, sorry, Flash Grenades, I think, to take into this battle. Both players, they have each other scoped out. Who's going to get the kill? It's going to be quick. I was convinced Cora was going to get that. Quick gets the kill, however... Quick, that's the exact start to this match he would have wanted. Here we go, round two. We're going to have Lever Action Rifle, M1911, Flash Grenade, and Semtex. Much harder to get a kill with these weapons. You have to be much more precise than just spraying and praying. I don't think either player knows where they are, but they are drifting towards each other. Oh, it's going to be... Oh, quick! Beautifully struck there. Kills Cora, who was caught napping and looking completely the wrong direction. Gets the kill. This is an interesting start to this match. Quick, 2-0 already. It's the first time he's gone two rounds in a row of... Two wins in a row, sorry. So we switch over to the shotgun I can never remember the name of. Desert Eagle. Uh, decoy Grenade, possibly, and Semtex. Both players on opposite sides of the map. Core opting to hide inside the shipping container. I'm going to switch perspectives to Quick, who is now playing Kruger. Tactical decision. He's trying to get the kill with the Desert Eagle, but I think he might be making too much noise here. Cora knows he's coming. Cora knows he's coming. Oh, and it just... It was too much noise. Cora knew. He turned around. You could see he knew. I think Quick got a hit, a shot off, but it just wasn't good enough. 2-1 to Quick. Magnums, fists, smoke grenades, and frag grenades. They know where each other are. Quick's got the drop, but he can't land a shot. Oh, Quick, you fool. He had every opportunity to finish that off, and he missed all his shots. Cora ties things up 2-2. Round five. Quick has thrown away a good early lead. We have MP7s. Uh, X16s, I think. Oh, Stims and Semtex. Quick is, 
he's damaged. He's really damaged, but he pops the Stim. It's a smart move. Cora doesn't seem to remember. There is Stims, and he gets the kill quick. Great work there. Remembering that the Stims existed, that made all the difference that he would have died without it. Although maybe not. He actually did get the drop on uh, Cora there. 3-2 to two, two quick. He takes advantage in this round once again. This is close. This is very, very close. Contested between these two players. The play style is fairly similar, but quick play more aggressively here. Oh, switch to the scar, quick. I don't think the pistol's gonna help you. He gets the Semtex, great work there. Does damage with the Semtex and finishes him off with the scar. Quick, now 4-2 up in the second round. Looking much better here on Speedball. So here we go, quick. LMGs and Magnums. Oh, who's going to see each other first? It's going to be quick. Surely he gets the kill. Quick now sitting at 5-2. Two. two away. Two away. From getting into that third tiebreaker round. Quick has turned a new leaf here. And he is doing fantastic early on. Oh, he misses the shot with the lever action. And again, both players just playing chicken with each other here. And he gets the kill. Quick is popping off. 6-2 to Quick. He's only one round away from getting two to the tiebreaker. Quick has found a whole other level of play here on Speedball. Cora falling victim to his uh, trick so many times. This is so, so good from Quick here in the second round. All sorts of weapons he has been dominating on. Desert Eagle, shotguns, gas grenades, I think, possibly, and Semtex. And it's going to be Quick who gets the drop. He's going to... He's missing. No, he's missing his shots. Oh, and he's not able to finish Cora off, who will get his third kill here in this round. Quick had every opportunity to end it there, but his pistol marksmanship has not been very good so far. Still, he has a buffer of three kills ahead of court at the moment. He can a few, afford a few rounds like this. We got magnums, we got fists, we got gas, uh, smoke grenades, and we got frags. Cor Quick might have the drop here, but his pistol effectiveness is not very good. And Cora gets the kill. Quick playing slightly too aggressive there. Now Cora back into this. It's 6-4 in favor of Quick. Quick needs another weapon in his favor that he can use. Anything that isn't a pistol. Cora is dominating on the pistol kills at the moment. He could still afford a couple of deaths, Quick, but... That loss, that uh, window of opportunity is quickly closing and Quick has lost control of this match rapidly. He's still in front, but that four kill window is now down to one. Quick playing far too aggressively all of a sudden. And this is very close. It's 6-5 in favor of Quick. He's still on match point. But he's just playing too aggressively at the moment. Cora being able to catch him out on all these attacks. We got Scars, we got Desert Eagles. The last time we had a Scar, Quick won this with the Semtex. Both players so close to each other and they don't even know. Quick, however, could get the drop on him. No! Cora gets him again! And now, match point for both players. Quick has to turn this around. Now, if he wants to stay in this match, and indeed this tournament, next kill will win this round. And Quick will be so angry with himself that he's let himself get into this position. He was four kills ahead on match point and completely fucked it up. However, Quick gets the opening salvo. He gets the initial hits onto Cora. If he's clever, if he's smart, he'll know what's coming. He did it! Quick did it! He manages to clutch up the second round and he wins. Oh, bloody hell. That was close. Quick killing when it matters the most though. And we are going through to a map three. Oh, <laughs> quick. He was so close to throwing that away. So very close, but he stuck to his guns. He was able to get that initial hit. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Gulag for the round three. It will end here, no matter what happens. Uh, yeah, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, one way or another, the, the group stages end here. It's going to be quick. Or it's going to be Cora. One of them will walk away with the victory and that essential playoff slot. Well, both of them could walk away with the playoff slot when things are going. <coughs> Remember, if we if Quick does win, KD ratio is so important. And if he had been able to win that 7-2, that would have been absolutely phenomenal for him in that round. He got it down to 7-6, however. So if he does go and win this, he might still come to rue that. I don't know what everyone's KD ratio is currently sitting at. That's something I'll have to calculate after if Quick goes on to win this last round. 
but it certainly makes for an exciting situation. Oh no! Quick has the advantage but isn't able to get the kill! Quick now sitting on 9 health! It doesn't matter though! Cora only had one additional health, but he dies first in this round. Quick takes the advantage here in the third round. 1 0. If he could run away with it like he did last time, but actually stick to it. If he could win this round 2 7 0 or something close to 7 0, but that's not going to happen. Because Cora gets the kill very early on. Quick running right into his stream of fire. No plan there. No idea for what to do. No patience. And we are now at level picking once again. This is a very close match contested between these two players. But how different it's going to be? Oh, Cora gets the first hit. Quick is hurt. He's on 30 health. And he's now on zero health because Cora follows up with a beautifully struck second shot. And now Cora takes advantage 2 1 here in the final round. Quick needs to start playing more carefully the way he did in that second round. Famas and X16. Oh, initial salvo sees Cora worse off. He misses his incendiary grenade. Both players playing cautiously here. Both have taken hits. Minute advantage to Quick, who does take advantage of it. And we are back at level pegging. 2 2. Good work there by Quick. He had a small advantage. He made use of it. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's pistol straight away. Straight away. Quick takes a lot of damage. He's down to 28 health. Cora has not taken a hit yet. Quick has to play so carefully if he wants to win this round. Let's switch over to Quick's perspective for a bit. Oh, but he has advantage and he pulls it off. Quick catches him napping and goes ahead 3-2 despite having a significant disadvantage in terms of health there. Quick looking much, much better after that first round where he really struggled against uh, Cora. But this is looking much better for him now. We have Uzis, X16s, Semtex, and I don't know what the other one is. It is going to be Cora though with a very, very quick kill there. And once again, like in the first round, we are very even between these two players and we are sitting at 3 3 as things stand. This is nuts how close it is between these two players. This is the most, probably the most closely contested match so far. Oh, Quick gets the advantage. He didn't even have to use the shotgun that time. And he goes ahead 4-3. Cora caught napping. Caught looking in the wrong direction. And Quick takes advantage of that. And for once, gets some good kills with the pistol. Didn't, la didn't miss a single shot, I don't think. Here we go. Quick still with the advantage. Oh, but he screws up with the LMG once more the exact same way. And we are now sitting at 4-4. Quick just cannot take advantage here for long enough. Neither can Cora, to be fair. Oh, this is a tight match. Both players neither willing to give in. Both go for separate sides of the map. Oh, 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 Quick could be in a very difficult position here. He gets the pistol out. Oh, he gets the kill somehow. He gets the kill. And he's now on 5-4. But here's the thing. Quick, his KD is not looking good, even if he does win this, because things have been so close with him. It is not looking good for him. I think even if he wins now, he might actually be out of the tournament regardless. Even if he does pull off a heroic victory here. Both players fairly close to each other without knowing. Quick knows where Cora is. I th No, he doesn't. Cora just about managed to get away. That was close. So, Quick sitting here at 5-4. It's so important here that he gets two kills now without losing any more. I think, I can't confirm, but I think his KD is looking very bad right now after his match with me. Oh, Cora knows where he is! Cora knows where he is! Quick! Playing interestingly here. He didn't take that many hits. He's on 68 health. He's going to go at this with the pistol for some reason. Not the play, Quick. Not the play. Okay, switching to Thanos. The incendiary comes out. Quick, what are you doing? He turns his back and just lets Cora kill him! What the fuck was that? He just turned around and like... Laid, he just presented his back to Cora. And now we are at 5-5. Five, five. It's just back and forth here. Back and forth. No player able to take advantage for any more than one round. Pistols, fists, throwing knives and smokes. Quick knows where he is, but he's exposed his position. Oh, oh this is... Uh, oh, Cora takes advantage. And now he's one wick kill away from making the playoffs as top seed. Quick now fighting for his life. He cannot afford another death if he wants to stay in this tournament. This has been so close. Quick just hasn't been able to hold on long enough. Too many mistakes. Too much misfortune. Cora. Going to 
Ramsey. However, he's surely going to get killed by Quick here, but no, neither player lands a hit. Oh, and that's it. Cora is going to win 7-5 and will make it through to the playoffs. It was a valiant effort there by Quick, who did so well in the second and third rounds. But for him, his tournament is over. He will be last in Group B with no victories. But what a match that was. What a close match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the last match of the group stages of the Rusty Jugglers tournament. So, here are your semi-finals. Cora versus Law, and Jack versus Para for that elusive spot in the grand final. That was a very good match. Definitely the best match I've casted so far. Really well contested between all players. Quick, so very close, so, so very close, but... Not to be this time for him. He can he's proud. He can do himself proud. He did very well there. But for him, the tournament is over. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the playoffs. And until then, goodbye.